my fellow individuals. I am Mr. Mini Mask Man here, and today I'm going to react to the trailer for Justice League. Now, obviously, before you see this video, please watch the original down below in the description box. Alright, so Justice League. Um, Like I said, I think probably previous videos how I kind of felt were DC, the DC uh, live-action films. Um, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'm still giving it a chance. I'm not too crazy about it, but maybe the trailer might change my mind. But again, then again, I don't want to be deceived like Batman vs. Superman. But I'm hoping this uh, Justice League hopefully should make up for it. At least a little. Maybe not fully, but something. I would say I at least maybe expect better than, you know, from Batman vs. Superman. I hope they learn their mistakes from that film and kind of fix things as they go. Although, I can't wait to see uh, Suicide Squad. I am actually want to see that one. I think it's going to be a fun film. But anyways, yeah, so Justice League. I believe it's made up, what, of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, um, The Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg. So that's six. And then, I guess the big baddie they might face against, I heard, was Darkseid. I know they kind of... I remember there's a hint or something during one of Batman's um, dreams or vision or whatever. Where you saw, you know, where he was like in the desert... And then it was like destruction with the flying minions from uh, Dark Side. So I assume Dark Side will be the main villain they'll probably go against in the Justice League movie, which will come, you know, pretty soon. And next year, I believe. Wait, next year? Says so 2017. It's pretty soon, actually. So wait, wait, wait. Okay, we got the Man of Steel movie. We have Batman vs. Superman. I believe the Batman solo film is, uh, I believe, in that year, too, in 2017. I guess if you want to count Suicide Squad as part of that. Um, and then the Wonder Woman movie, which I haven't seen the trailer yet. It's probably the next one after this one. I'll probably keep an eye out for it. So, wait, if Justice League's coming out next year, we still haven't seen an Aquaman solo movie, the the Flash solo movie. Because I, I think that Flash is completely different than the one from the series. And um, the Aquaman solo movie, so... I don't know, I don't know if DC's kind of... Well, I already said that they're kind of rushing this, but I don't know if they're if this is the right move that they're going for. Hopefully so, we never know, we'll see. But, you know, I'll, I'll think about it. Let me watch the trailer and I'll maybe see if, if I can think about it or not. So, let's just watch the Justice League trailer right now. There is a stranger who comes to this village from the sea. He comes in the winter when people are hungry, brings fish. He comes on the king tide. That was last night. There we go. Ben Affleck. Talk. Cal Drogo. I'm <laughs> sorry, Aquaman though. From far away. I'm looking for warriors. Yeah, you got one. Stranger. Woman. Others like it. I'm building the Flash. To defend us. And there's Cyborg. It's very important that I see this man. Barry Allen. Bruce Wayne. You said that like it explains why there's a total stranger sitting in the dark in my second favorite chair. <laughs> he said he'll fight with us? More or less. More, more, or more or less. <laughs> Probably more or less. He said no. He said no. <laughs> Look, man, I don't know who you are, but whoever you're looking for. He's Batman. <laughs> you noticed? Well, I assume you noticed. So you're fast. That feels like an oversimplification. I'm putting together a team. People with special abilities. You see, I believe enemies are coming. Stop right there. I'm in. You are? <laughs> Just like that? Yeah. I, I need... Friends. Friends? <laughs> Can I this? Alright. <laughs> hey, Barry Allen. 
Oh yeah, Cyborg looks pretty cool. Though. Damn, yeah, Cyborg's pretty tight. I like that Cyborg. Yeah. Okay, that's actually wasn't bad. It's actually I actually actually like that trailer. Okay, I'm like I was kind of like this, where I'm just kind of like not fully on board, but I'm I'd say I'm, I'll probably take the first step on board. Not fully on board yet, but um, it's a this is a big step. At least the trailer. As long as they don't do uh, what was it? From Batman vs Superman, the second trailer where they reveal Doomsday and all that. As long as they don't make that same mistake again, I think they're on a good path. But okay, this one, yeah, this one's not bad. I, I actually enjoy this one. I liked um, let's see, this version of Barry Allen or the actor, and um, at least what they're portraying in this character here, the for the Flash, um, that really somewhat social awkward kind of persona. And kind of, you know, kind of makes his jokes around. And almost... As long as I see a parallel between him and the... Um, and, uh... What's his name? Uh, uh... What's his name? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh... Evan Peters? I think that's... Yeah, Evan Peters, uh... Quicksilver. Persona in the X-Men movies. Kind of, like, two different... There is almost like kind of see a parallel, but I know they're not the same. Even though they have the same powers and so forth. And to some extent, of course. I know the Flash probably has a little bit more... I don't know that much about the Flash, but I know he can do more things like, you know, travel back in time, and it gets very creative with his super speed, for sure. It is all about the vibrations of speed. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, I I, I'm, I like this already. This The the Flash character, in this case, and Barry Allen. Um, so, I, guess I, I already assumed Batman was the one who's going to recruit people. I'm probably like the Nick Fury of DC, sort of. <laughs> Except, you know, he's also... He's also he's Batman, so yeah. So I thought it was okay. That's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, Wonder Woman's there, of course. You know, just kind of there helping out. And then Aquaman actually, is, that's a pretty cool Aquaman. It's I know it's I'm trying to remember because I know I saw like two different. Um, I remember two different Aquamans. One, the you know the very original from the Super Friends. You know y'all remember that one, that cartoon, which is basically the Justice League before the Justice League in in uh, cartoons. I remember like that the classic Aquaman, and then you got you know that other Aquaman from the Justice League uh, animated series, you know the one with the hook, which I guess that's was kind of reminiscing to that uh, Aquaman, both the, I guess somewhat of the persona, more of that aggressive, serious Aquaman, than uh, you know from that one in this film. So yeah, we're so okay. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna like Aquaman too. And plus, he was he was freaking Cal Drogo, <laughs> but um, yeah. So that, and I really like I really like how they did with Cyborg. He actually looks pretty cool. So, you know, good job on Cyborg's uh, look. Now, now the thing is, is um, it's I kind of like where it didn't reveal too much yet so far. At least I know it's just the first trailer, so I know probably maybe. You know, as it comes out, you'll, it's little snippets by snippets. As long as they don't do the whole shebang, like in, um, like I told you in the second trailer, Batman vs. Super, as long as they don't pull that, it should be good. So, um, okay, I'll give, I'll probably give Justice League the chance. I'm slowly leaning towards the, you know, to the right side of the meter, the good part to possibly give this one a chance. I'm gonna, I'll keep waiting, because I know I'm pretty skeptical of the DC live-action films, so, especially, like I said, Batman vs. Superman really hurt me a lot in that. Not to hurt me as an offender or anything like that. Nothing like that. That's not what I'm talking about. But as in, like, my trust with DC uh, live-action films. It, like, really took a huge left turn for me. So it's like the Justice League slowly kind of did this almost like in the middle. But, yeah. So, all right. So, yeah, I can definitely give this one a chance i know it comes out next year so hopefully the pacing is they're good with the pacing because i know there's still the solo movies for the other characters to come out and they're kind of sort of doing almost a reverse um mcu method where marvel did the um, solo movies first 
of everybody, and then they did the Avengers. And this one, they kind of just did Superman movie, Batman vs. Superman, just kind of half and half, which was mostly Batman, I would say, in that movie, and then Superman had more dialogue. But I heard the extended cut was more, showed more Superman, but I haven't seen it, and I actually don't want to see it, to be honest. I don't want to watch that movie again, even with the Ultimate Edition. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, and then we'll have the Wonder Woman solo movie. And then this one, so... Well, we'll see how it goes. I assume Justice League will be in two different parts, I would say, because it's just kind of revealing, you know, you know, it's kind of like three three characters' introductions, Justice League, another, the other three characters, Aquaman, Flash, the Cyborg, and then probably continue on with the Justice League. That's what I assume. And then maybe, depending how it goes after the second Justice League film is where we have more, probably more DC characters, like, if they do, if they hopefully do it correctly this time, the Green Lantern... Uh, Martian Manhunter, and, you know, and so forth. So, yeah. But, anyways, I think that's pretty much all i got to say for this one. And, yeah, I would say overall I, uh, I'm i kind of anticipated for this one. This one wasn't bad, so I, I like this one. So, yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, you know what to do. So, continue on with these uh, Comic-Con trailers. So, you guys have a nice... Nate. Wait, there we go. Day.